YouTube fam! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. I hope you guys are all doing super well today. I am really excited for today's video because we're switching things up in my living room. I'm planning to do a full apartment tour soon, so the last space that I kind of have to retouch is my living room, and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along and just show you guys my process and just changing things up and making it feel refreshed. After being at home basically 24-7, it gets a little boring when you're just looking at the same furniture and the same decor pieces. So I'm definitely ready for a change, especially since we're gonna go into fall soon. So I just wanna change the tones in here a little bit, and I also wanted to fix some of the mistakes that I made the first time around when I redid this living room. We're gonna do some DIYs as well as some styling, but before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And let me go ahead and show you guys what the living room is looking like right now. Okay, so the space doesn't look too bad, but it's definitely not in the best shape. This channel is a judgment-free zone, so sorry if you see stuff on the floor where things shouldn't be. And yeah, this is what the living room is looking like. I think one of the biggest issues is that we don't really do a good job of organizing everything inside the coffee table, so I hope to tackle that today. I'm also just kind of tired of these pillows. Currently the colors are very bright and yellow and a subscriber actually made me this pillow and I love it so much. So thank you so much, Jamie. It's so cute. But yeah, I think it's time for a little bit of a change and maybe get some new throw pillows and maybe actually put them away because they don't look cute like that. This kind of has stayed the same. Um, I have my little DIY wall hanging up there. And then one of the things that I wanna change is maybe doing the curtains. Funny story, I actually bought curtains that were too short for this. So I wanted this to be like, at least maybe grazing the floor. So I think I wanna switch this up and change it to something that looks a little bit more classy, a little bit less cheap maybe, because these are really cheap and they're really great and I love them, but it is time for an upgrade. I don't even know what's going on in this corner. I just have a bunch of plants on the floor because I have nowhere to put them. So I need to figure out a new home for them. And oh my gosh, guys, this has gotten so huge. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. It is ginormous. It's so much bigger than any of the leaves on here. If you could tell, like that was the newest leaf before this one. And this one just honestly is huge. And like I said, I've just put plants everywhere. They're kind of taking over. And I think I want to be more mindful of where I place them and find a better home for them. Like this plant doesn't belong here. I just put it here one day and then never put it back. As for the gallery wall, this is an easy space just to switch up. So I definitely want to DIY something, maybe add more above so we can add some height to the room. Now that you guys have seen the current state of the living room, it is of course time to tidy up. I usually just clean things up here and there, but this time around, I think I'm going to clear out the whole living room aside from the big furniture pieces. And that way we can really start off with a blank state and just start off fresh and reimagine what the room could look like with some new decor pieces. And I think I'm also going to take this opportunity to do a little bit of a deep clean because I am way past due for one. So yeah, let's get to cleaning. Okay, so if you guys haven't cleared out your space in a while like this, you definitely need to. It just feels so much more fresh and clean. And this also helps me so much in just being able to envision all the new things that I put and where I can put everything. So it's looking really good. So I did do a little bit of fall shopping and I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm bringing into this space to really give it a more cozy fall vibe. So I'm gonna grab those items and do a little mini haul. So first up, of course I had to stop by Target. They had a bunch of their fall stuff out. So I ended up grabbing this really beautiful throw. I like that it's brown and it's plaid and it just feels super comfy and soft. So this is gonna look perfect on my couch and bring some warmth, especially since this is gray. And of course you guys know I'm trying to bring it more black accents into my home so this vase is perfect for that and of course I had to grab a candle this one is just so cute and they have so many great ceramic ones they have some really big ones that I love but I don't have room for that so I did just grab this tiny one 
and then I love these coasters. These are like woven rattan coasters. So these are just 12 bucks for these set of four and I thought they were really cute. And then I found this pillow, which I think is just perfect. It adds in a nice muted tone and I like the vertical stripes on here. I think it's gonna complement nicely with the blanket. And overall, this just brings a lot more of a cozy vibe. And then I also went to World Market I found this beautiful pillow. This is just so textured and wavy and it's just so cute, I love it. And again, if you're going for more of a cozy vibe, adding a texture like this is going to be great. I also found this plant hanger, which is something that I don't already have. I have a lot of like macrame, but I thought this was really nice. So this is just a nice beaded plant hanger and I'm so excited to hang it up. And lastly, I went online, so I found these beautiful green pillow covers. So I'm just gonna replace the 20 by 20 pillows that I already have. On camera, they look a lot more gray, but they are a very nice green and you guys already know I'm trying to bring more green tones into my home. So once you start putting all of your new items together, you can kind of start creating this new vibe and incorporating it with things you already have. So let's get started. Hello from voiceover Tina. We're switching a couple things up on this gallery wall and DIYing some wall art. So you guys probably know by now that lately I've been obsessed with this toilet paper method for my canvas paintings. So that's exactly what we're doing for this canvas. And if you haven't seen the full tutorial for this, I'm going to link it down below. But essentially I'm using some Mod Podge and then one sheet of tissue to add some gorgeous texture to the canvas. And this process doesn't actually take very long. I only use one tissue for this 11 by 14 inch canvas. And this time around, I added some water to my Mod Podge and I really liked working with this watered down mixture butter. So if you haven't tried this yet, you totally have to. So for the design, I was very inspired by this image that I found on Pinterest. So I lightly sketched that in in pencil and then we're gonna go ahead and just paint the background first. I really wanted some variation in the colors, so I'm going to have a beige color, and then I'm also layering it with a lighter beige, and this adds so much dimension to the background, and I think it complements the textured tissue paper really well, and kind of gives it a little bit more of a vintage vibe. Now we're gonna fill in the circle in the center with this beautiful rust color. I really love DIYing my own art because then I'm able to customize it and pull in the colors from the room, and this is such a great way just to create a cohesive color palette throughout. And lastly, for the leaves, I created a very deep green, which almost looks black, and this is just gonna add a very graphic element to the design. And oh my god, you guys, my clumsy self dropped a wet brush onto the canvas, so I did have to go back in later and just fix that up. But aside from that, this painting was super fun to do, and I really love how this color palette was coming together. These methods are really simple, but creates a beautiful, high-end looking piece of art, and I really am digging this more moody vibe with the leaves, but the vibrant rust definitely adds in a beautiful pop of color. Hello you guys, it is a new day. I just got off of work and this is a really exciting day because this is actually the last time that you're gonna hear me say that I just got off of work. I basically just quit my job and I am pursuing YouTube and content creation full time. I cannot believe I'm saying this out loud and like my heart is pumping so fast because I'm so excited. I just know that this is the best choice for me. I feel like I'm running out of breath right now, oh my God. <laughs> It's such a dream come true, and it's honestly all because of you guys that I'm able to do this, and now I'm able to do this full time, so there's a lot of really good content coming up. I cannot wait to just put in my whole heart and soul into this channel. Ah, okay. Calm down. <laughs> there's just a lot going on and a lot that I have in the works, and I actually have a big announcement coming out next week. So if you're watching this video right now and you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see all of the new great content that's coming out soon. So I wanted to pause for a second and tell you guys the good news, but jumping back into the refresh, I really wanted to find a blanket ladder for the space, but everything that I was finding online was a little bit pricey. So of course I went over to Facebook Marketplace and I scored one for 10 bucks. I'm gonna go over there and pick it up right now and then we're gonna give it a little bit of a makeover. So I just got home and the ladder is here. Da, 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 da. I cannot believe I got this for 10 bucks. It is metal and it's a lot 
taller than I thought it would be, which is great because I was hoping that it would fill up the space nicely. It is metal and it also has a little bit of wear and tear. So my plan is just to spray paint this black. I think it's also going to make it look a lot more expensive and then tie in with the rest of the decor that we're gonna have over here. And oh my God, I'm so excited for this. If I'm ever in doubt on how I can upcycle something, I usually turn to black paint just because I feel like it elevates a piece so much. I noticed an Ikea sticker on this ladder, so this definitely is an Ikea item, so it must have been really affordable to begin with. And I'm so glad that I opted to find something secondhand because everything that I found online was just way too expensive, and it also wasn't exactly what I was looking for, so I'm really glad that I was able to get something at a great price and personalize it to exactly how I wanted it. Okay, I am loving how the ladder looks in here. I think it really balances out both sides since I have my tall plant over here And then there's nothing really here filling out this space So this adds a lot of height and I think it looks great. So I made this painting really quickly I wanted something more graphic and bold and I literally used a poster board from the Dollar Tree and then just some black paint This was super easy probably took me about 10 minutes to create but it looks amazing So I'm gonna pop that into a frame and it's gonna go right here It's gonna be perfect and then I'm gonna show you guys the other painting because it's dry now and here she is. Honestly, this is probably one of the most favorite things that I've ever painted on my channel. I'm obsessed with the texture as well as the different color variations in the background. I think it looks so good. And to elevate it a little bit, I'm going to put it in one of these frames. So this is gonna sit right in here. So right away, it already looks so much fancier being in this wooden frame. And I got this off of Amazon a while ago, so I'll link it below if you guys are interested. But this is also something that you can easily DIY, which I totally wanna DIY in the future. But I'm so happy with this and I am loving it. <sighs> Okay guys, I'm getting tired and we've done so much, but we are getting closer to the end of this journey. So the last thing that we have to change in here is the curtains. And you guys already know I have these like sheer kind of cheap curtains. So I wanna change them up and I found some that are really textured and cozy looking. And I think it's gonna pull the whole space together. So I'm really excited to put those up and then we're gonna get to styling and then show you guys the reveal. And I already know it's gonna be so good. If you're currently living in a rental, I think that curtains are a must. These are a renter friendly hack that I did with command hooks and I will link these hooks below as well because they worked out so well and curtains really help draw your eye upwards and adds layers to your room and these curtains that I picked out have a fun pattern to them and they also add a little bit of a cozy element especially with the material and the tassels not to mention these are going to be really great to block out some of the heat from the evening sun but it still lets some light in so it's going to look airy and beautiful and super textured. Okay, so here's how the curtains are looking. I think they are so cute. We most likely will keep it open like this, but right now the balcony is not looking the cutest. So I'll have to fix all that for the reveal shots. Oh, I just tripped on my tripod. But yeah, I'm loving how this is looking. It already feels so much more cozy in here. all done and it's looking really good in here and before I reveal it to you guys let's take a look back at the before it was looking a little bit rough still cute but needed a little bit of a refresher and now that we've added some cozy vibes in here let's take a look at the after
I hope this refresh makeover excites you guys for fall because I definitely wanted to start putting more fall touches in here. I was about to grab my pumpkin decor, but I figured I'll save that for next month. Overall, I'm really happy with how the room looks and we really didn't have to make that many changes. It was just a couple of new decor pieces, some upcycles, and of course some DIYs and this space just feels brand new again. It only took a couple of days to do, so if you guys have been thinking about making a refresh in your home, now is definitely the time to do it. If you guys like this refresh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up below. And there is so much home decor content coming soon. I have so many plans now that I'm able to do this full time. And again, thank you so much for being here. I literally could not do any of this without you guys. So thank you for following along this journey. If you guys would like to see more updates from me, don't forget to follow along on Instagram. I post on there every single day. And that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.